Hello, this is Sal. In today's video, we'll be talking about uh, standard access list. There will be another video to talk about extended access list. This video is, uh, I'll show you how to configure EIGRP, and then I will will work on a standard access list where uh, this network here on 192.168.10.0 Will not have access to this network of 192.168.30.0 and the network here in the middle 192.168.11.0 from accessing the web server on the network of 192.168.20.0 now i configured the the interfaces on the routers but i still did not configure a, a routing protocol i'm planning to show you how to configure eigrp and now if I try to ping from here uh, the web server it will tell us that the destination host is unreachable and it will you know the uh, default gateway will anyway let's go on router one and I'll configure first the EIGRP enable configure terminal router EIGRP and the uh, autonomous system of one now on router one we have four networks connected to router one one two three four two as peer you know router here and router here and through these two interfaces are connected to a network so I'll start with the network of 192.168 dot 10 dot 0 and the inverse subnet mask of 0 dot 0 dot 255 and the second network of 192.168.11 dot 0 and the wildcard inverse subnet mask of 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot 255 now the other network and that one dot one dot 0 that's Three. network this network on this interface of 10.3.3.0 and exit exit show IP -E IGRP interfaces as you can see on all the interfaces on the four interfaces we configured the EIGRP now let's go to router 2 enable uh, enable configure terminal EIGR uh, router EIGRP autonomous system of one network of 10.1.1.0 and it established an agency and now and the other network of 192 168.20.0 Network of 10.2.2.0.3. One, two, three networks. Now let's work on the network of uh, router three. Enable configure terminal router E. EIGRP autonomous system of one the network of 10.2.2.0.3 and the other network of 10.3.3.0 and the inverse subnet mask and the last network of 192.168 dot 30 dot 0 
do that way. Exit. Let me run a few show commands. Show IP, E, I, G, R, P, neighbors. And we have two neighbors. This neighbor here of 10.2.2. Here. And the neighbor here at 10.3.3.1. And show IP, E, I, G, R, P, uh, enter. Uh, showing us on router three the three interfaces which we configured the ERGRP on serial uh, zero slash one slash one here and zero slash zero slash one slash zero this guy here and the uh, gigabit Ethernet zero 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 on this network now let me uh, we want this one deny access to this network or oh, let us try this guy here first to see if it can ping the web server of 192.168.20.20.20 .20 .20 and yes it can can it access it via the web browser let us see 192.168.20.254 and yes it can now we will create an access list and to deny uh, this network of 192.168.11.0 anybody in this network not just a specific uh, host from accessing the web server so we will go to router 2 and on router 2 configure terminal we will configure an access list and give this access list uh, number one now we want to deny we want to deny who is it a host or a network or deny everybody you know it is a network of 192.168.11.0 0 and the inverse subnet mask of 0 .0 .0 0 0 0 okay now we deny this network but what about the others now another access list of one permit permit to any now we are done creating the access list now we want to place the access list now we are creating this is a standard access list and it filters the traffic based on source IP address. We can it based on the network IP address. Therefore, a standard access list must be placed on the router, which is near the destination network or host where it is denied on this router. We configure it here and we want to deny this network and from reaching this destination. So on the router, on this interface close to the destination the standard access list are router configuration scripts that control whether a router permits or denies packets based on the source address as we configured our access list so now going on the router on the interface of gig 0 slash 0 slash 0 which is this interface here okay we send a request but it will not go out to reach the destination so it will be IP access group of the, the access list we configured which is number one and here we have two options in or out we want to deny uh, traffic from this network to access this network out of this interface to the destination but we will permit anybody else to go out to reach the destination so it will be <coughs> now going back to the the pc on uh, the router of 192.168.11.10 this is the pc's ip address let's try to send a ping and here the ping goes but 
the request went through, but here, this guy, he told him, where are you going? So he told him, you, are, you cannot reach your destination. So as you can see, the reply received from 10.1.1.2 from this interface. Now, uh, this PC here uh, can ping, let us see if this PC here will send a ping to this PC on this side, ping 192.168.30.10. Now it can ping it. But now we will create an access list that we will deny them to reach this network but allow anybody else. So we will, as we said, the standard access list filter the traffic based on the source IP address. This is our source. And let's configure it here on router 3. And it will be placed close to the destination. Configure terminal uh, access list. Okay, let us give us uh, number 10. Deny. Deny a network of 192.168.10.0 and with the inverse subnet mask of 0.0.0.2. We said we want to deny this network of 192.168.10.0. We want to deny them the access. Another access list. The same number 10 permit permit to anybody any host to reach this network now we want to where to place it close to the destination which will be router 3 and on this interface interface gig 00 slash 0 IP Access group 10 also. Let's try see we pinged it before we were able to ping from PC one to PC three. Let's see if we can ping it again. And again, this guy here on S010 told him, Oh, you cannot your destination is unreachable, you cannot reach it from here. So as you saw here, we configured the EIGRP in a really quick way, you know, and uh, on the interfaces on this network, interfaces of the routers, and we were able to ping, and every PC can reach the web server, except after we created uh, the access list denying the network of 192.168.11.0 from reaching the web server, also creating another standard access list from denying the network of 192.168.10.0 from reaching this network here. I hope you learned something today from this video. I will be seeing you soon on uh, a video about uh, uh, access list. Uh, this was about the standard and the other one will be about extended access list and uh, if you like the video, if you learned something, please uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel and give me a thumb up. I'll see you very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.